we got to hear the word of God, hear a little, dear a little. Hallelujah. My topic tonight says, cry no more. Tell your neighbor, cry no more. Cry no more. In the year 2020, the Lord will take you to another level. The Lord will take you to a divine connection. The Lord will open your eyes to see where you will make it. So what am I saying to each and every one of us this morning or tonight? Cry no more. Hallelujah. Come with me to the book of Genesis 21. Let's start from verse 9. Genesis 21, studio. And Sarah saw the son of Haggai, the Egyptian, which she had born unto Abraham, mocking. Wherefore she said unto Abraham, Cast out this bound woman and her son, for the son of this bound woman shall not be heir with my son, with Isaac. Hallelujah. Because of time, go down to 14, studio. And Abraham rose up early in the morning and took bread and a bottle of water and gave it unto Haggai, putting it on her shoulder and the child and sent her away. And she departed and wandered in the wilderness of Bathsheba. And wandered in the wilderness of Bathsheba. Look at 15. And the water was spent in the bottle. The water got finished. Just a bottle of water. It got finished. And she cast the child under one of the straws. You can go with food. In so many months. But when you don't have water, you cannot go without water. When the water in the bottle got finished, she was confused and she didn't know what to do. And she went and sat her down over against him a good way off. As it were a bow shot. For she said, let me not see the death of this child. And she sat over against him and lift up her voice and wept. She has no faith again. She is confused. She didn't know what to do. She just left the child to die. Hallelujah. And look at verse 17. And God heard the voice of of the Lord and God heard the voice of the Lord and the angel of God called to Haggai out of heaven and said unto her what let thee Haggai fear not for God had heard the voice of the Lord where he is praise the Lord look at where we are going verse 19 and God opened her eyes and saw, and she saw a well of water. And she went and filled the bottle with water and gave the lad drink. And God did what? Show her what? The well of water. And that was where she fetched water to feed the little lad. Where am I going this night? I don't know what that has kept you crying all these years, but tonight I said to you, cry no more. We have gone to so many places looking for business, looking for divine helper, and there was no way. These are some of the things that keep man crying. These are some of the things that keep man, as a Christian, you don't believe our God is the God of possibility. 
when we have toiled day and night, nothing to show. It keeps us crying day and night. Haggai cried unto the Lord. The Bible says she wept. Her cry touched God. And God did what? Open her eyes to see the well of water. Hallelujah. We know that desert or wilderness, there's no water. If not for the mercy and grace of God that made that provision for her so that the little lad can live. So I don't know your own area. You have been crying. You have been weeping. You have been waiting upon the Lord. You have been believing, Lord. It looks as if heaven has closed. What am I saying? I decree and I declare to you that 2020, God will locate your divine helper. He will connect you financially. He will connect you materially. There will be fruitfulness. In the mighty name of Jesus. So, the well where she located, God opened her eyes to see. What did she do? She builded her house there. And that is where she fed the child. That was why he grew in the wilderness all through. Near the well, she builded her house. She began to feed the child there until the child grew up. So 2020 is your year. Hallelujah. I don't know the area you have gone severally. You are denied of that connection. You are denied of that business. I said to you tonight, cry no more. 2020 will not be like other years. God is taking us far. He will take us to the area of our prosperity. He will take us to the area of divine connections in business, in marriage, in fruitfulness, in the mighty name of Jesus. No matter whatever you are passing through, do not dismay. God is about to open our spiritual eyes. Do not allow this scripture to bypass you this night. In the mighty name of Jesus. He's about to favor us. Others might be meditating, crying, weeping, that nothing is happening in this nation. Our own is different. In the mighty name of Jesus. The only thing you need to do was ask God to prosper you and show you the area of favor. When you're favored, everything is possible. Hallelujah. So tonight, God will release his favor upon your life. God showed her a well of water in the desert. That same way, God will favor you 2020 in the name of Jesus. So 2020 is our year of fulfillment. Hallelujah. Let's go to the book of Revelation chapter 21, verse 3 and 4. Revelation 21, 3 and 4. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. For And God shall wipe away all tears. Hallelujah. What do you say? Amen. Amen. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. For what the former thing has done what with 2019. In the name of Jesus, be an expectant. Be an expectant. Don't be a spectator. This year 2020. Hallelujah. 
in every situation be an a, 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 a what yes god will do it don't be a spectator hallelujah because the bible didn't tell us that situations will not arise situation will arise when you look at the book of john 16 33 it said tribulations shall do what shall spring up but we need to do what be of good cheer the world is not made of bed of roses Problem and circumstances will arise from time to time. But if you know whom you are, the platform where you're standing, you believe in him. He will do what? He will always answer you in all situations. May he answer us in 2020 in the mighty name of Jesus. Put your trust in him. Remember what happened to Job. Job went through so many afflictions. His body was full of sore. Even his wife was mocking him. But Job knows who he is. He knows whom he is serving. Hallelujah. Let's see Job 19.25. Studio Job 19.25. For I know that my Redeemer liveth, that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. So whenever you run into any situation, you don't know what to do. What do you say? I know that my Redeemer liveth. Fear is a torment. One situation arises in your life and family, and you put fear in your life, you will not make it. Job, the wife was doing what? Castigating him. The first woman that made herself a widow. He said, why don't you curse God and die? Job said, I know my Redeemer liveth. In every sight or area of circumstances, situation arising in your life and family, what do you say in 2020? I know my Redeemer liveth. So, what are we saying? God will visit each and every one of us this 2020. At the end of the day, he was restored. And put laughter in his mouth. So, this season is our season for God to remember us. I say cry no more. Cry no more. Tonight, God will remember you. When God remember a man, he will send, he will set him free. Hallelujah. He will prosper him. Goodness and mercy will follow him all the days of his life. But the only thing, believe and remove fear in wherever you are. In business, remove fear. In marriage, remove fear. In environments, wherever you find yourself, you remove fear. When it looks as if all is gone, there's no need crying. That's why I say cry no more. We have cried enough in 2019. 2020, there shall be no cry. There shall be no weeping. There shall be no untimely death. There shall be no accidents. Of Jesus, it is time God will take us to our prosperity zone. Hallelujah! We cannot be serving Him and people will be pitying us. It's an error. It's an error. We are the one that's supposed to do what to stand tall because the word of God stands sure forever. May God give us understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. This song says,
also look another story in the book of Luke chapter 7. Let's read from verse 11. And it came to pass the day after that, he went into a city called Nani. And many of his disciples went with him and much people. Twelve, continue. And when he came near to the gate of the city, behold, there was a dead man carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. And much people of the city was with her. Thirteen. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her, and said unto her, Weep not. No matter the situation surrounding you, facing you, weep not. Fourteen. And he came and touched the bear, and they that bare him stood still, and he said, Young man, I say unto thee, Arise. Fifteen. And he that was dead set up and began to speak, and he delivered him to his soul, to his mother. Our God is a God of possibility. Our God is a God of signs and wonder. This woman was a widow. He has only one son. He sold all what he has to train this child up to 30 years old. Death came, sudden death came, and this young man died. Look at the woman with agony. The woman was bleeding in her heart. The woman was weeping. It was in that city, women does not follow cops going to bury. But because of her heavy heart, because of what she saw, she never believed. She was following the people that were going to bury the son. Thank God for our Lord Jesus. He now saw them and he, he now saw the woman that the woman was in a great agony. The woman was bleeding in her heart. The woman was, you know, don't know what to do. What did God do? He now touched the bear and said, they should wait. He did what? He made the young man to arose again. The boy rise up and he delivered him to the mother. So I don't know the area you are battling from your foundation or your business, financial breakthrough. It looks as if there's a hedge. Our God does not come late. Our God is always in time. When all, you know, things have done, it did not work. We have run here on that scepter, it didn't work. You see him coming. It's like when Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego were thrown into the furnace of fire. It looks as if all hope is gone. Then Jesus came and delivered them. 2020 might not be like that in our life and family. No matter the situation, do not be dismayed. Our God is real. He never came late. He cannot change. He never changed in the time of the old. He can never change in our situation today. The only thing, believe. Follow him bomber to bomber. Call upon him in time of every situation. When he looks as if heaven is closed, my Redeemer liveth. At the appointed time, when the cloud is full, heaven must give way. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Do not allow anybody to talk you out of what God is about to do 2020. He's going to do marvelous things in the life of men and women. If you believe, whether you believe or not, I am encouraging us, this 2020 is loaded. Believe. 
and wait upon him. He must answer. He must do a wonderful thing in your life and family. If he can raise the dead, when all hope is gone, what about your own situation? Has it got to that level? What am I saying? 2020 is the year to serve God unlimited. It is the year to come near to God. A time of murmuring and complaint has come and gone. It's going away in the next one hour. In your life, in your family. Hallelujah. When we are serving God, people around us will know that we are serving God. Do not allow them to mock your God because you are trusting a man. Man will deceive you. But when we trust in God, you see him answering us expressly. May he answer us this year, 20, 2020, in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's speak that song again. Meditate on it. Jesus, Christ. Jesus Christ. 
destroy them in the name of Jesus. Wherever they are, planning evil against you, against my family 2020, the power in the blood of Jesus will locate them and destroy them all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Yes. I welcome Sister Angorika for declaration. Before she comes or while she's coming, I want us to give our first seed of the year. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. It should not be more than 500 Naira. God the Son, God the Father, and God the Holy Ghost. That's our first offering for 2020. If you are ready, She's coming, hold it.
Locate them and destroy them all in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible said in the book of Revelation, and God opened up the book, and it was the book of remembrance. And God told to Jeremiah, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I know you, and I know what you will be. Everybody seated in this congregation, there is that written of you by God from the beginning. There is that written of you by God from your mother's womb. I want you to use the seed in your hands. There is a chapter in your life written of God for 2020. Tell God before 2020, with the seed in your hands, let the book of the chapter of 2020 in your life be opened up. And with the seed, let angel usher you into that which is written of you from the beginning. Shatush, 
Into this 2020, in 
I speak to you this day that as you plant the seed the seed of God the Father the seed of God the Son Amen. and the seed of the God the Holy Spirit Amen. that good doors doors of good things God of deeper good things Amen. doors of things that you never worked for Amen. the God the Father will open it unto you Amen. can you give me Haggai chapter 2 Haggai chapter 2 from verse 6 for thus saith the Lord of hosts yet once it is a little while I will shake the heavens and the earth, the sea, and the dry land. Seven. And I will shake all nations. And the desire of all nations shall come. And I will fill this house with glory. Yeah. Say it, the Lord of hosts. Eight. The silver is mine. And the gold is mine, said the Lord of hosts. Lastly, time. The glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former, said the Lord of hosts. And in this place will I give peace, said the Lord of hosts. Amen. The rest does it. Go to see up. I decree and I declare unto you. I receive. As a messenger of hope. Uh -huh. Every difficult record that refused to break all these years. Every difficult history of your foundation that refused to break all these years, that keep you stranded, that make you to sweat without result. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as we are entering into the year 2020. In the name of Jesus Christ, the yokes shall break. Amen. That amen does not sound well. And amen means so shall it be. And I want to tell you that the loudest person that shouts the amen has it. Every difficult history, ancestral history, every difficult record of your life that keep you stranded, that make you your sweat, all these years, nothing good comes to you. You sweat without no good results. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mm -hmm. standing in the office of my father, yeah. I decree and I declare yes. that tonight the yoke is broken. I decree over your lives and my own life. Everyone here that is like your glory is buried before now. In the name of Jesus. 
Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 2020, you are buried, glory shall resurrect again. Amen. I say it shall resurrect again. Amen. 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 I decree. I receive some of his father over your lives and my life in 2020. Unusual miracles, unusual testimonies. Amen. Will he hit somebody here? He shall hit somebody here. Amen. 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 Yeah. We shall break barriers and possess one 
The welfare of your family shall be supplied. Amen. The welfare of my family shall be supplied. Amen. The welfare of Divine Majesty Worship Ministry shall be supplied. Amen. The welfare of the body of Christ shall be supplied. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Of your life is open. 
Amen. To the glory of God. Come to Amen. the altar. To the altar to drop the altar. Oh yeah, fire. Fire. Receive our praise, oh God. Receive our praise, oh God. The saints and all know we belong to you. Receive our praise, oh God. Receive our praise, receive our praise, oh Lord. Receive our praise, oh Lord. The saints and all know. Receive a praise, oh, 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 oh,
For all this year, we have been crossing over every ending of the year. This night, what I saw was great, was marvelous. Before 12, multitudes of angels was here. I was cutting them. I was, as I was cutting, they multiply. As I was cutting, they multiply. Praise God. Hallelujah. And each one was holding a golden plate. And that golden, golden plate, what, what was inside there was tally number. Listen and listen. Was tally number. number. Immediately is sharp 12. They started jubilating. They started jubilating. And they are jubilating. They are giving everybody tally to enter. To enter. Tally number. Tally number. Tally number. Tally number. Tally number. Everybody was holding tally number. And that widening gate was open. Amen. He said, 20, 20. The gate of divine majesty have been opened. Amen. It really shocked me. I mm. said, God, you are great. You are wonderful. Yeah. And God started talking to me. He said, Daughter, tell my people, tell my people, as many, as many that will hold me tight, the wind will never blow them away. As many that will hold me tight, the wind, the enemy will release will not blow them away. He said, 2020, carry a lot of bullets. 2020, carry a lot of bullets. He said, don't allow that, that the, don't allow the bullet to hit you. He said, hold me tight. Hold me tight. The enemy came with a lot of bullets to explode. Don't, don't be among of the people. Don't fall the victim. Of the bullet of the enemy in this 2020, and he said, Daughter, I will bless a multitude. I will bless a multitude. They are hear me and obey me. I will bless a multitude. They are hear me and obey me. Like yesterday, yesterday, I was talking to Bishop in the gate. I said, God was ministering to me for all this why. He said, as many that are serious, I will bless them above their imagination. Amen. I was discussing with her in the gate here. I said, God was talking to me. He said, it's good to bless a lot of souls in this divine majesty. A lot of millionaire, billionaire shall rise up in this ministry. Make a joyful night. Hey. As he was talking to me, he was telling me, please tell my people, tell my people to hold me tight. Aye. Enemy are release a bullet. Don't allow the enemy to hit you with that bullet. Oh, That's said the Lord. Hallelujah. May his name be blessed forever in Jesus' name. No bullet of the enemy will locate us. In the mighty name of Jesus, no bullet of the enemy will locate our family. Wherever they are, it shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. In your life, in my life, and divine majesty as a whole, in the mighty name of Jesus. That same God that has continued to protect us, will also protect us 2020 in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name.